Thank you so much, Chair, and thank you for having this very important debate. I actually think this is the most important debate we have in the European Union today, because we are at a crossroads, and it is not just about, you know, a price cap here or some finances there. It's about really uh, the money of the people who are uh, also watching at home, hopefully. So the um, Economic and Monetary Union was founded because we wanted to strengthen the common market with a strong and reliable common currency based on the Deutsche Mark. But that hasn't really materialized. It actually became a common currency more or less becoming an Italian lira. And um, while we, the goal was to have a convergence in the Eurozone, we actually see countries diverging from each other. We see that initial goals, uh, expectations were not met. We have seen government debt um, uh, going up. And now we see rampant, rampant inflation. So again, we are at a crossroads. And on the one hand, we see the European Central Bank desperately clinging on to keeping the Eurozone together, coming up with new tools, uh, OMT, PEPP, TPI. Uh, and on the other hand, we have national governments continuing to uh, continue to have government spending. And next to that, we have the European Commission, who came up with a dangerous next generation EU program, which opened the tap of common European debt. Um, so in that sense, um, the, the, I would like to make this debate a bit more fundamental on where should we be going as, uh, as the EMU. Um, because we saw that before the pandemic, debt was already m way too high. So my question to you is also on, on when looking at inflation, shouldn't be the main goal of the Economic and Monetary Union to reduce government debt, to reduce government spending as well. Um, next to that, uh, the general escape clause of the Stability and Growth Pact was activated. Um, and I wonder whether that was such a wise decision, also looking at, again, looking at inflation. And while we are talking about reforming the Stability and Growth Pact and, and you know, changing the treaties, wouldn't, be, wouldn't it be a better idea to um, reform the treaties in such a way that countries that um, do not meet the criteria of the Eurozone are able to be re removed from the Eurozone, are able to, you know, can, they can uh, devalue their currency, they can reform in their own way, and as soon as they meet the criteria again and they have a, a set trajectory, we can, we can have them rejoin the Eurozone. And on the other hand, wouldn't it, shouldn't it also be possible for countries that no longer see their national interests met in the Eurozone, be able to um, uh, get out of the Eurozone, but remain in the European Common Market and remain in the European Union. As I would like to say to Mr. Tygesen, that would be more or less the Danish model. Um, I would leave it at that. Thank you so much.